Hello and welcome to the second in a series on basic synthesis. My name is John and we're here with the State Zero Synthesizer. Today we'll be looking at oscillators, of which there are four on this instrument, and going through the basic waveforms and their functions. This is a square wave available on most synthesizers. It has odd harmonics, as shown by the spectrum analysis on this screen. A common modulation available for square waves is the pulse width. This changes the ratio between the positive and negative going parts of the cycle and has quite a complicated effect on the high frequency content. This is a triangle wave. It has the same odd harmonics, but at a much lower intensity and has a much more pure sound closer to the sine wave that has no harmonics whatsoever. This synthesizer has an unusual feature that it can morph between triangle and sawtooth waves. The sawtooth is very characteristic of synthesizer sounds and has both even and odd harmonics. If we bring in a second oscillator here and tune them together, we can see the effect of phase on the Lesage's curves from last episode. Here with two signals of equal frequency and identical phase, we get a straight line. As the phase comes through to 90 degrees, this forms a circle. And then at 180 degrees, completely out of phase, we have a straight line again. If we tune the second oscillator up to an even octave. We can see the Lasagis curve has two lobes to it, indicating a ratio of two between the two frequencies. Again, the phase is represented in the image by a rotation of these curves. Tuning the same perfect fifth that we were using yesterday, we can explore some of the other modulation capabilities here. On this synthesizer, every control such as this phase here has a second modulation related to it. And Phase modulation was in fact marketed by Yamaha under their frequency modulation name. Although technically phase modulation, the name is now stuck. Another common feature of oscillators is this reset or trigger that allows a signal to restart the oscillator. Every time there's a positive going signal at this input, the oscillator starts again from a location determined by the phase control. In less sophisticated synthesizers, this is often described as sync and is simply an option to turn on between oscillators. Here it's freely assignable to any signal. 
again the sound alone and with sync available. Or with the phase modulation.